Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial for making surf maps. This is D3PO from WMCLN.net and to get started go ahead and open up 3ds Max. I'm using version 8. Go ahead and make a box. Doesn't matter what size the box is, just make a box. This is going to be our spawn room. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do this kind of newish just so you can get the point. Inset, oopsies. Extrude. Okay, now we have this basic little spawn area where you can spawn. Okay, now what you want to do is go ahead and make the first ramp. So go ahead and make a box, go in the top view, and make it about like this. Whoopsies, let's try that again. Okay, now what you want to do is convert it to an edible poly, edit to edible poly, and select these two corner vertexes, and just bring them in like this. And then select these two, and bring them in. Okay, now you have a basic little surf ramp here. <laughs> what you want to do now is just bring this down, and tilt it, just a little bit. That should be fine. Now I'm going to make this super long, so I'm just going to keep on extruding here and make it quite a super long ramp. Okay, now we're going to want to start making our curve, so go ahead and hit extrude again and just make a simple little extrude here. Hit F4 so you can see the polys, or the uh, edges, and then go ahead and select these top vertexes and bring them, well that doesn't quite work, does it? And bring them up and back, like that. And then extrude again and do the same thing extrude, and you got the basic idea. So this is how you make a surf ramp. I guess I'll go ahead and do one more. Okay, now we're going to want to make it so that they have to fly to the next object. So don't put the box like right up close next to it. Go ahead and put it out quite a ways. So maybe all the way over here. And go ahead and just make the long box. Actually make it quite short like this. And hit P to go back into perspective mode. And where did I put it? Let's try that again. There we go and we can move this later. And then for this one, instead of making it a double ramp, I'm going to go ahead and just make it a one-sided ramp like this. And then go ahead and bring it down to the correct position. Bring it out a little bit like this. And as you can see, we're going to need to rotate a little bit and probably bring it out a little more. Like that. Maybe even bring it up a little bit. Okay, now go ahead and go to the edge of this. Extrude it outwards. Just about like that. And then bring it out this direction. Go ahead and extrude again. And bring it this direction. Now if you look on the bottom, you can see it's not really quite doing it the way we want it to, so go ahead and select these two vertexes and bring it this direction. And then that direction. Oops, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Like that. And these can come out. Like this. Oopsies. Okay, that's good enough of a turn on that. Then you can continue that actually. And I'm just gonna pause the video while I continue it. Okay, now that I finished it, I'm going to go ahead and add a landing box. So go to the top view. Oopsies, I see something messed up. What happened there? Oh, I guess I'll just delete that. Okay, there we go. Go to the top view and add a landing box. Okay. Go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Okay, so now you have one basic side done. So what you can do is just click on those, go over to this, and select mirror. Make sure you click on copy, and do Y, and then change the offset so that it is about like the other one. So just like that, that should work perfectly. Now you can continue with these surf maps and make them super long. You can do them indoors, outdoors, in space, whatever. Just use your imagina imagination. Some surf maps, let me open up. FPS banana. Whoopsies. Maps. Let's look at some TF2. Um, other. Misc. As you can see, it can be quite amazing looking. Just use your imagination. The sky is the limit. It really is. So now that that's done, go ahead and texture it and link it all to a frame. I'm just going to give everything a steel texture. just like that, and select everything but the frame, and go ahead and drag it to the frame, so that you link the frame. Okay, and then make sure you have it scaled correctly, so go ahead and import, whoopsies, the cyborg model. Okay, as you can see, that's not quite big enough, so select everything except for the cyborg stuff, and make it bigger, oopsies, armor, okay, there we go, and make it big, real big. Okay, that should definitely be plenty big. 
Okay, so that's how that works. Go ahead and make a skybox for the whole map, just like that. Make sure it covers up the entire map. And go ahead and make this one really low so that if they fall off, they die when they're falling. So you don't have to add a kill box. And select all the outside faces, hit flip. And you've just created your very first surf map. Okay. Oh, make sure to link the sky to the frame as well. And give the sky a um, plus sky texture. Just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. Uh, tutorial. On script. Actually, you're going to want to uh, select all of the boxes. Select all. EVW map everything. It's going to make it all 20. Oh, also, you're going to want to clear all and then hit auto smooth so it makes all the ramps nice and smooth. Okay, now that I've done smoothing all my ramps and I have everything linked to my frame, everything textured, I'm going to go ahead and export it to data level surf, surf tutorial, models, surf tutorial.jms. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, there we have tool open, open up tool, tool, structure, levels, surf, surf tutorial, oh my god, surf tutorial. And then go ahead and open up Gorilla. And open tag, tags, levels, surf. Ugh, open edge errors, you be awesome. Make sure everything is in editable mesh. JMS exporter. This should work now. Yep, it works now. Okay, go ahead and open up the dot scenario. And give yourself a sky. Multiplayer. And go ahead and say yes. Okay, now do tool, light maps, levels, ta uh, levels, surf, surf, tutorial, surf, tutorial, surf, tutorial, 0, 0 0.9. And when it's done, go into your data's folder to the debug light maps. Refresh. To the debug light maps, open it with paint, zoom way in, and delete all this nasty stuff. Just like that. And save as, levels, surf, surf, tutorial, surf. Tutorial.tiff. Save it. Exit. Go to tool, tool, bitmaps, levels, surf, surf, tutorial. Okay, now launch. Save in. Oh my god. And open up your map. And then go ahead and go up to your spawn room. Up here. Obviously, add some player spawn points. Whoopsies. Okay. That's good enough. And populate your map like you normally would. And go ahead and add a teleporter at the end here. Or whatever. Teleport from. And then go back to the top here. And do like a teleport to. And that's how you do it. You just made your own surf map. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is save it. Tool, build, catch. Actually, save it. And then do, yeah, tool, build, catch, file, levels, surf. Surf tutorial. Uh, surf tutorial. There we go. Oh my god. Surf tutorial. This dedicated server is online, so that's why it says VLT open data catch file. Okay, and that's how you make a surf map. Now, you're going to need to go to your map folder to the surf map you just created. Go ahead and add it to a zip archive. And then go to internet. Um, rapidshare.com go ahead and upload your map file so for instance search tutorial dot zip hit upload and when it's done you'll get a link make sure you didn't protect your surf map and go ahead and email the link to holy crap go ahead and email the link to surf at wmclan.net name it surf map name so it would be surf tutorial and then slash your name so e3po and then post the link so like HTTP rapid share dot com slash whatever dot zip and then a way to contact you either re-email or like an X fire an aim or something and then I'll take it and I will convert it to a surf map now I may have already launched my program when you're watching this video but I don't think I'm gonna launch my program quite yet there are still some bugs and I don't want to put a buggy program out there I will add this tutorial I'll save this so that you guys can uh, see how I did it anyway that's how you make a surf map see you later